so we're headed over to Lala right now. Uh, there's a bunch of people. It's pretty. It's a pretty nice day out. Um, I already talked to someone who was going over there. We got the walk sign. Uh, it's gonna be pretty sweet. A um, bunch of cool looking people. Probably meet some good friends. Uh, there's a Lala sign up here, crossing the street. This is Michigan Avenue. So, uh, first show we're gonna see. We're really unsure about actually right now. It's the vaccines. Probably the uh, documentary. Uh, Will doesn't want to talk, so I was video taping him anyway. All right, here's Evan. Hey guys. Uh, right now we're we're waiting on the street. Uh, right across from our hotel, actually. Uh, we had to go back and get, get batteries for the camera. Uh, but right now there's probably about, I would say, a good thousand or so people. <laughs> Probably more. Probably a lot more. Uh, waiting on the street to go in. Uh, the streets for wristbands already, and then the sidewalks for people that don't have wristbands. But uh, the Lala signs right here. So we're behind that right now. But uh, more video to come. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, this is a this is a long line of, of porta potties. Um, if you come down here. Porta potties for miles. Uh, and then on the other side of the street too, way down there. Those are all porta potties. All of these over here. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's really warm in there, but other than that, it's pretty homey. They have a waste waste management brand, uh, Porta Lab version. So uh, I think the version 2.0. So they're pretty nice. Uh, we haven't even gotten into the music yet. So more video to come. This is Paris. This is where we're going right now. Should be a good time. This is Paris. It's Paris stage. Uh, this is where we're gonna see our first music event. It's not really a band. It's just called uh, Lala Mix or something around those lines. And. Uh, we're just gonna be here for a little bit, then we're gonna head over to Sony Stage and see White Oak for Anna Enderly, just for her too. Shout out to her. Um, so more video to come, thanks for watching. Right now we're just kinda sitting down, taking a little break. Uh, we just heard the back scenes of British band. <laughs> Find it's right. It's actually right across from us. Uh, he just had trouble getting there. Uh, they, they didn't. I went to the one over there. They did not have food. Huh. Just, All right. Anyway, so we'll that food yeah. Eventually, we'll in a little bit, and uh, so we'll talk to you in a little bit. Uh, thanks for watching. More video to come. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, it's been not a long day, but very tiring. Um, so we came back, got a drink. Will had to, you know, use the restroom. Uh, we're just chilling. My phone, uh, my phone's too too dead to to work, uh, which means it's still on, but I can't send messages or call people or get on the internet. So I'm charging my phone up. As you can tell, cords on there. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, the day's gone great. Um, I tell you what. I've now been to the best live show I've ever been to. Um, foster the people. shows uh, Sugar Ray, uh, Sesame Street Live, oh, what else? Uh, the Wiggles Live, that was pretty good, Uncle Cracker, um, T-Pain, but Falls to the People, they're better than any of those guys. But on a serious note, I, I highly recommend their music and if you ever get a chance to see them live, do it. Uh, so pretty soon here, probably around 6 o'clock, we're gonna, maybe a little before, we're gonna head over and, and see Skrillex, uh, I believe that Perry's and uh, that should be fun, so uh, more video to come. Thanks for watching. Freshened up. All right, guys, we freshened up and uh, you know, got something to drink. Phone's a little charged up, not all the way, but we're headed back. Uh, we're in the hotel right now. This is the stairway to heaven. Will's walking straight towards it. Uh, the thing is, we go down every time we go towards it, so. We really don't take the stairway to heaven. Yeah. Um, actually, this hotel is pretty, uh, pretty famous. Uh, Al Capone used to use it as a, a as his gang headquarters. Uh, so they say. Oh. Your patrons <laughs> love to. publicity they've got so far. Uh, but we're headed back now. We're going to go see Skrillex. Uh, maybe take a little break, walk around the park some. And then we're going to check out Muse and another band that you're all probably pretty familiar with, Coldplay. And I hear Coldplay is actually doing a cover of a, of a Friendship Gang song, Clocks. So we'll see how it goes. See you guys. More video to come. Welcome back. Uh, we just got 
haven't done seeing Skrillex. see Muse, they're going to play right up here. <laughs> Lots of people here too, pretty far away from the stage, but that's okay, that's what we want to do. And we're excited to see Muse, but uh, halfway through or maybe a little bit after after Muse starts, we're going to head over and to the other side of the park and we're going to see Coldplay, uh, who I mentioned earlier, they're doing a cover of a TFG song, Fox, so that'll be pretty sweet. Uh, so, you know, these are the last two of the day, we'll head back to the hotel, probably talk to you then, but uh, thanks for watching more video to come. Hey everybody, welcome to our finale of day one. Um, my clothes have changed because I've taken a shower, I was very hot and sweaty. Um, this is the towel I'm using to wipe my hands off, and I, earlier I used it to wipe my sweat off. When we got back to the room right now, we're just uh, chilling, we're eating some pizza, uh, Chicago style, mm -hmm. it's very very good. We had Giordano's our first night here, which is ten times better, but this is still really good. Um, we're, we're just kind of... Uh, well, the camera's rolling, so say what you'd like to say to the people. Hello, I'm Jill, I'm down at Lollapalooza. It seems like it's a great time. And uh, that there's some a lot of celebrities there. <laughs> and that's it. It's very good, it's very good. Thank you. Um, hold on, hold on just a second. Okay guys, uh, this is our day one wrap up. We started one yesterday, but um, we're just gonna continue off that. So we're gonna start with our, our highlights of, of yesterday. And Will, the man of many words, is gonna start us off. Will's highlight of the day. Okay, my highlight of the day was probably either the Foster the People concert, which was phenomenal, or music impressive. <laughs> But I like the foreign kid at Coldplay. That was pretty hilarious. <laughs> yesterday uh, well number one the Foster the People concert as Will mentioned was was just outstanding um, the the lead singer got up there and you can see him crying a little bit because uh, they just recently started to get big and he kind of talked about how your life can change real fast and just the whole show they seemed real excited to be there uh, and just real grateful for their fans and everything and you just really felt like uh, you were part of, of history because you know they're, they're just now getting big it was the biggest show they've ever played so that was pretty sweet um, also, the pizza was really good, uh, Pizzeria Aura, and Coldplay's version of Clocks by your one and only TFG. 
uh, was was fantastic, probably better than ours. So um, can't get my sunglasses back there, so forget about it. Um, Austin, how about you? Uh, my highlight of the day uh, also was the Foster the People show. It was really good. Um, I actually had a guy right beside me pass out and thought he was dead for a while. It was pretty interesting. Also, um, when Evan and I got and got to go get the pizza last night, we kind of talked to some guy who decided to sprint across Michigan Avenue for no reason, and that was pretty good too. So He was drunk. He was a little drunk. A lot. Yeah, quite a lot actually. Not even a little. So. I mean, it was just a good time, so hopefully more to come. More to come. Hey guys, welcome back. This is actually our first uh, video, uh, whatever you want to call it, documentary of our Lala trip for day two, and it is... Past 6.45. So 6.37. Um, we just haven't really had much time or like, quiet time. Uh, enough to do the do day two yet. Uh, you saw us this morning when we wrapped up our day one, uh, but since then we haven't had much time. So uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of the day. Austin will name the bands because I don't remember them too well. Um, go ahead, Austin. Well, first we uh, saw J. Roddy Walston in the business, and uh, they were at PlayStation stage, and they were really good, and we got really close to them, so that was cool. say about it. Yeah, cause... their guitar player was very, very good. Um, very impressive. One of the most impressive straight up guitar players I've seen. And by straight up, I mean like no effects, just straight up soloing, picking, just really good. <laughs> Okay, then, uh, then we saw Typhoon, I think. Yep. Yeah, Typhoon. And they were pretty good. We didn't stay very long, though, because we had other stuff to do. So then we went and saw a little bit of Fandagram, and they were pretty decent too, but we were like way in the back and... And then 
uh, fits in the tantrums, and we stayed for that whole one because that was really good. Evan particularly enjoyed it, and he's going to tell you a little bit why. I did not enjoy it. I enjoyed the first maybe five minutes in the last 15. Uh, we have video. We will insert it probably right here. <laughs> But that was me pretending to enjoy the man standing literally two inches away from me. Standing? <laughs> dancing. He was dancing two inches away from me. And there were literally four, <laughs> there was four feet of space in front of him while we were standing there. He bumped into me about four times. I bumped into him just so he knew I was there. And he would not move. Um, he just kept dancing and it appeared as though we were grinding because of how close he was to me. And it's not like I could have backed up. There wasn't any room behind me, but there was plenty of room in front of him. So eventually I just got tired of it and went in front of him and he was completely okay with that. And I don't know if he wanted to dance that close to me or what, but it was one of the most annoying, frustrating things that has happened to me at Lollapalooza. And here's Will. <laughs> We kind of walked around, uh, yeah. went down, and well, we went and tried to find Jason. Oh, Didn't succeed. Yeah, that's right. Saw like 10 minutes of Death from Above, 1979. They were pretty good. They were alright. But eh, it just. Evan didn't like them. He's oh, he, he's shaking his head. He says no. They they weren't really anything all that spectacular, just, honestly. Just a drummer yeah. and kind of kind of drummer and bassist, which and made it, uh, which made it good. It was kind of cool because they were just a drummer and bassist, but Evan disagrees highly. I mean, was, but I mean. Yeah, it was different, and they screamed. They were, they were pretty much just like really play loud, play loud, fast, and scream. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. Um, not my type of music. Not Evan's type of music. Uh, not really my type of music either. But it was kind of fun. <sighs> what did we do after that? We we walked over to. Oh, we walked in and we tried Stump. to we tried to watch Patrick Stump. His band uh, was having some technical difficulties, and they started like 20 minutes late. So that was frustrating. Uh, so then after that, we, um, we went and got food, right? We did. We got some food. We got, um, we got some barbecued chicken and barbecued pork. There are two different selections of choices, um, uh, as well as some homemade chips. And those were, that was good. I, we, I hadn't eaten since 11 o'clock and it was about 5.30 or 6 by the time we got the food. So it was really good. Hit the spot. Uh, then we walked over to the hill and we sat down. For a while, I wasn't feeling too well, so I came back here, and uh, yeah, and so I sat down, called Heather, had a nice little talk with her. She's on the way back to Kentucky. Love you. Um, and I don't know what Austin and Will did, but they just showed up eventually. Yeah, we kind of showed up uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, we were waiting to see CeeLo Green, but we don't really care that much about him. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, there was tons of people on the hill. These foreign guys kind of came and pretty much took over the spot that we were sitting in. And it was frustrating. So, oh, and also my camera was uh, not working at all and I needed new batteries for the third time so far in two days. So, Will and I decided to go back to the hotel and I guess now we're gonna go to my morning jacket because they start at eight and that'll be a good one. And then M&M's after that, and that'll also be, well, during that, and we'll go to that too, and that'll also be a good one. And, um, oh, Evan has something he'd like to show you. I'm not sure if you can see it, so I'll, I'll kind of walk up and foster the people. They were our fam favorite band from yesterday. So far, favorite band that has played. Uh, Muse was good. I mean, there were I like fits in the tantrums but also. But I think it was my favorite show yeah, good shows. overall good shows. for me personally. Yes. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna head over back to the park, and uh, we'll we'll probably talk to you either then afterwards, some something like that. Uh, but thanks for watching. More video to come. Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our day two wrap up, which is taking place in the morning of day three. Uh, we're gonna go over our highlights of the day, starting with Will. Um, I probably have to say that I think my favorite concert, at least, was My Morning Jacket. seeing J. Roddy Walston in the business and their guitarist was really sweet and he was really fun to watch and listen to. Um, so that's one highlight but as they both said My Morning Jacket put on a, an outstanding show. Um, just all around the lights, the, the music, the, the energy, everything was there and we were pretty, we were pretty close for that um, so that was pretty cool. And then hearing Eminem live finally um, growing up listening to only him for a while it was Pretty cool to hear his old stuff, and we didn't really miss any good songs. He played pretty much everything I wanted to hear once we got there, and we got there probably about 30 minutes late, so that was that was sweet. I'm 
arms are heavy, it's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks cold and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting, but he broke down the whole crowd, blows so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking now, everybody's joking now. The clock's run out, time's up. So we're about to head out. We're gonna, we're probably gonna do a whole new one for our day three intro. So uh, we'll see you later. More video to come. Thanks for watching. Yes, it's more for, it's more for fun. Well, well wait. Oh, <laughs> these are our friends. You don't have to say your name since it'll be on the internet. I don't really care. Yeah, man. Alright. And you guys are meeting Dead Mouse. Yeah. So that'll be sweet too. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear us or not, but these are our friends. <laughs> you did it. Otherwise, thanks for watching. More video to come. Video documentary. Uh, we're in the hotel room right now. Evan is just uh, waking up from his slumber. Hey and he doesn't really want to wake up right now, but we're going to try to force him anyway because we want to go to Floggy Molly. So. Evan doesn't feel well. He must have ate something wrong yesterday because his stomach's kind of hurting. But welcome to day three. Um, we've already seen one band today, Titus Andronicus. <laughs> Pretty sweet show, actually. Uh, they're they're a pretty good band. Uh, there were people people moshing in front of us, which was pretty sick. Uh, met some new guys from Chicago, some young guys. But uh, anyways, it's been it's been a an okay day. Haven't felt too well, but I think Will and Austin are having a real good time. And I mean, I'm not having a bad time by any means. Uh, yeah, we're about to uh, to head over to uh, see Flogging Molly, and followed by KG Elephant. And then we'll probably see a little bit of Best Coast, and I think Sam Adams, the rapper, is playing. And so I'm going to check him out just to see what he's all about. Uh, and then tonight we're going to see Dead Mouse, so uh, it'll be pretty sweet. Um, pretty excited. We'll talk to you later. More video to come. Thanks for watching. Hey. So this is Evan. Uh, he's sitting here. This is the. Uh, I don't really know if this is even gonna go in the video documentary, but I just wanted to start filming for some reason. Yeah, hey guys. All right, we're gonna go, no, go ahead and do this. Will's in the shower. So Will's in the shower. Come on, so we'll kind of talk for now. Um, I'll turn down the music so you can hear what Evan's saying. We're listening to Cage of the Elephant because we'll, we'll tell you later. But okay. so. Well, yesterday I actually don't remember where we left off talking. I know I was sleeping. So we would have been on the way to Flogging Molly. Flogging Molly. Um, I didn't really get too close for Flogging Molly. I tried to get good sp a good spot for Cage the Elephant, um, which was the stage right behind it. So I, I could hear Flogging Molly pretty good. I, I mean, it's a good band. It's, it's good fun to listen to them. <laughs>
I say a little bit about flogging Molly? Uh, yeah, sure. Will and I didn't get very close to flogging Molly either. Um, mainly because there was a lot of people there already and it was kind of packed. So we just kind of hung back and figured we'd watch a couple songs and then go to Cage the Elephant. So that's pretty much what we did. Since the stages were right next to each other, we watched a couple of songs and then we went on over and got a good spot for Cage and we could still hear Flogging Molly, so it was pretty perfect. And uh, so uh, that was good. Uh, now uh, back to Evan. All right, and then uh, <clears throat> I got really hot and I, I already, you already pointed out that I wasn't feeling too well. Uh, so I, I left my spot at Cage the Elephant just to go chill in an open spot. And then Austin and Will happened to find some pretty a pretty decent spot, so uh, we walked up there. We sat down. We talked for a while. And um, the concerts it was it was really hot. It was like 90 degrees. The sun was just beating down on everyone. And if you look behind us, not right now, but if you look behind us at the concert, you can see a bunch of like, there was a lot of clouds, like a storm moving. You got pictures of it, so yeah, you can see yeah. those. And. Uh, so I really wasn't feeling too well, and I was I was skeptical about the concert. Like I, I love KG Elephant and everything, but uh, the clouds rolled in, and they were supposed to start at 4:15, 5:15 actually. Supposed to start 5 at 5:15. Yeah. And the clouds right at 5:15, the, the clouds made it to the sun and gave us all shade, which was sweet. So I started to feel a lot better. Um, you know, they started playing, the adrenaline started rushing, and all. Okay, so uh, take two of the wrap-up documentary. I'm not sure if this is actually going to show up on the video, but the camera's kind of a little iffy right now, and uh, we'll explain that here in a minute, why that might be. And Evan, if you can wake up from your uh, whatever this is, you can go ahead and talk. Okay, um, like I said before it cut off, um, what did I say before it cut off? The adrenaline was rushing. The adrenaline was rushing. So, you know, during the first song, we started pushing forward, trying to get through people to the front. Me, um, Evan, I Evan I and I did. We don't know what happened to Will. He kind of just hung behind. Uh, he'll jump back in the story later. But, yeah. Um, Austin and I are about three, we made it to like... Well, we went through the mosh pit first. We, we went into There's a, a big circle. And we were pushing and shoving and just, it was fun. It was like a lot of death. I was kinda. the biggest one there. So, yeah. like, I wasn't worried about anything. People kind of didn't push me, I pushed them, they <laughs> kind of stayed away, but um, Austin and I bumped, like ran into each other a few times, it was great, it was fun. But the thing is, the mosh pit was probably about, uh, what would you say, 15 feet? Yeah, I was going to say 15, 20 feet, yeah, probably. 20 feet wide, so we started in the back of the mosh pit, and then when we finished, we moved 15 feet up, so now we're probably about 15 rows back. <laughs> Maybe 10 rows back, and uh, we're, we're jumping around, we keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward, they're, they're uh, lead singers jumping into the crowd, and all this stuff, and, and you know, I want to push forward and get to him, and he gets back up on stage, and we push forward even more, and I turn around and Will's behind me somehow, <laughs> like, Will's like, hey, <laughs> say hi to the camera, Will, I know you don't like to talk. Like, the mosh pit just stopped, and then all of a sudden, there was a lot of room in front of me, and everyone just surged forward, and I eventually, I looked ahead, and that was, that was Evan. So, made sure I said hi. <laughs> so, that was fun. That yeah, uh, was fun. Yeah, I was having a good old time, and then all of a sudden, Evan taps me on the shoulder and uh, points to me, and there's Will. So, that was fun. That was a good moment. Yeah, but, uh, that was sweet. Anyway. Um, so then, you know, it looked like rain, but it hadn't rained yet. And all of a sudden, they slowed down and they started playing Shake, Shake Me, Me down. down, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And right when they started playing that, rain started coming down. Just Everyone's pouring down rain. Pour, this isn't just like a little drizzle. This is pouring down rain. And it had been like 95, so it was perfect. It was so Everyone nice. was about to die and it started raining, so that was nice. Mm -hmm. It was, I mean, 
I hadn't been feeling well all day, and all of a sudden I just felt like I felt 100%. It was great. Um, so, you know, that was cool. Then they started to pick back up, and it rained even, it started raining even harder. And I looked down, and my feet were covered with water. Like, there was just a giant puddle just everywhere. And it came out of nowhere. Like, it was all dry, and then out of nowhere there was like a foot of water everywhere. Very weird, very weird. Um, but it was, it was sweet. People were jumping around, splashing everywhere. My pants were soaked. But we didn't care. But it was such a sweet experience that I had to pull my phone out and I had to, to film it. Um, and then at one point we were three rows back, literally three rows back. Um, and their, their lead singer jumped out in the crowd and was on top of me. Literally on top of me in Austin. And Evan got a video of it. I didn't. But it's, it's on my phone. I don't maybe know. we'll. I don't know. It. You can just trust us. We'll. We'll. Uh, we'll, we'll yeah. Yeah. Just, whatever. My hand. My hand was on his butt. I mean, that's not. You know. <laughs> it was just great. I touched his foot at that point. Like this is this is great. This is a great show. And, um, I just I don't know if we can explain how literally awesome the show was. Like. It, by, it taught, I mean, it blew Foster the People out of the water. It yeah. Foster the People. It was a great show, but this was just insane. Um, the, the band was crazy, a lot of energy, and it was just a really good time. I mean, a lot of it had to do with the fact that uh, it started raining at the perfect moment, right when they slowed things down. That was just, uh, that was just nice. Um, so I guess I kind of got lucky with that. But it was still just a really good show. Uh, he jumped into the crowd. Lead singer jumped into the crowd again later, and went. I don't know how far you think he went out. Probably like 20 rows or so. Yeah, he probably went out. He went out quite a ways. And then when he came back, Evan and I somehow got separated. But he came back right towards me, and I like smacked him on the chest. It was pretty cool. And yeah. then. What do so. you, you want to say anything about about the crowd surfing? Did you get to? That? No, I was never near him when he did. Uh, Usually, I didn't even notice that he did it until everyone just started like shoving one way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I couldn't really see in front of me that much because there's always someone taller right in front of me. Yeah, it happens to Will a lot. Yeah, it sucks being short. To both of us, well, to all of us, really, but yeah, mainly mostly, to Will. Mostly to me. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that show ended. Like I said, it was the most fantastic show I had ever seen. Um, top five show with people. Yeah. Um, Top of my morning jacket, top news. Just because of the circumstances of Austin set. Um, but then we, you know, we were really wet. Um, clothes were drenched. Here's my Oh, yeah. Uh, so I don't know what happened, but we got cut off, and we were talking about how wet and muddy our clothes were. Uh, here's one of my socks. It's completely dark brown slash black. These are my shoes. Which already were black, but now they're just completely muddy and all that good stuff. And here's Evan's shoes, also the same deal, and, and Will's. I think my clothes are still in the bathroom. I don't really want to go in there. It's not a big deal. Uh, we ordered another pizza last night, so that's the pizza box. Anyway, back to the story. But yeah, we were really wet. We went over, refilled our waters. They had um, free refilling stations. They'd refill any bottle you had. Um, which was nice, and then we went over to Best Coast, and we watched like two songs of them. And they were good. They were, they were good, but I mean, it was all downhill from Cage the Elephant for the most part. So, uh, we walked over to watch Sam Adams, the rapper, um, and he started like 20 minutes late because of the rain, and um, when he started, we listened to like two songs and took off. We were pretty far back. It wasn't really a big deal. Not he was really good too, though. I mean, wasn't bad. Not bad. Yeah. Not. Um, we walked over to see. We went over to the Bud Light stage where um, Dead Mouse was going to play, and Damian Marley was it Damian Marley Jr. Or yes. Damian Marley, Damian Marley okay. Jr. And uh, and Nas and Nas were there, and they were pretty cool. It was reggae music. It was kind of a different feel. Um, there's a lot of people there. Oh, mm -hmm. A lot of people. It was, it was a good time. And then a lot of weed there too. Plenty of weed. Um, everywhere you looked, 
was like... I mean, that's the whole Marley thing, though. Yeah. I mean, you kind of got to expect it. Right. Especially since he said during his concert something about marijuana makes things better. Yeah. So. Um, I wouldn't know. I didn't. No, we didn't. We, nah, didn't, we didn't partake. We don't do any of that. But um, it was it was weird how accepted it was at the at the festival. Like they expected people to do that. So um, maybe it made things better for those people. I don't know. But um, I had. A good but we time. had a good time, regardless. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and then they finished, and Dead Mouse is gonna play in like an hour. So. Oh, and at this point, it was not raining, by the way. Not like raining, just but very, very clear. Muddy. Yeah, people very muddy. Throwing, people were throwing mud. I had to put my phone away. Yeah, um, that's uh, yeah. yeah. All of us put our phones away, and uh, this is why the camera. I didn't get any pictures or videos of anything past Cage the Elephant because the camera was away. Right. Um, so we we pushed forward, got pretty close to Dead Mouse, close enough to to where it was extremely loud and. Right, his lights were pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and and that was cool. We waited an hour for that to start. Um, I think Austin and Will would be better to tell you um, about that show. <laughs> um. Well, so we were standing there for an hour, like Evan said. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, lots of weed around us. People were passing it around, asking for lights. Yeah, it was. It was Very interesting, uh, asking us if we had any, we didn't, we don't do that, so, um, I mean, I don't know, we just, I guess we just kind of waited for a long time. Yeah, it was a very long time. Really long time, and it was very muddy, mm -hmm. but, uh, I don't know, some of the people were pretty cool, we were having a good time, and then, uh, literally at like, what was it, probably 8.15? Yeah. 8.15. Yeah, Dead Mouse is supposed to start at 8.30. 8.15, it starts just pouring down rain again. Absolutely nuts. And like, Dead Mouse kind of just ran on the stage and told people to get off and just started right away. Great timing. Yeah, that, so, that was amazing. just got nuts. I mean, everybody's jumping and going crazy and it's uh, pouring down rain, everybody's muddy, just big mud pits everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and that continued for probably a half hour. Yeah. In the rain. Uh, I mean, by the end of it, sure, all of our feet were just under mud for the whole concert. Like I yeah. couldn't pick up my feet really at all. I couldn't either. It was tough. <laughs> and uh, but that was a sweet concert. I mean, like Evan said, it was really loud mm -hmm. and really bright lights. But I just thought his uh, his light show was really great. Yeah. And it could have been better. And awesome. Apparently it could have been better because when we got back to the hotel, I checked Facebook on my phone and Dead Mouse said something about, sorry the rain screwed everything up, uh, we'll still have our show but it just won't be as good because we can't use a lot of the stuff or whatever. So apparently like there was a lot of new stuff that he was going to use that he hadn't used before that was going to make the show a lot better. But you know what, we had a good time. so. Mm -hmm. I'm really not mad about it. Uh, I don't really know what, what else there is to say about Dead Mouse, but yeah. he finished with ghosts and stuff, and that was, was really cool. It was just a great concert. It was sweet. We stood there for probably 10 more minutes. Everyone was trying to get an encore from him, but I yeah. think he had already gone past the curfew limit, mm -hmm. and so he couldn't really come back on. Uh, I'm sure he probably would have if he could have. Oh, yeah, he would have. He probably wanted to. Yeah. But, so pretty much all there is for that and then we <laughs> uh, well we're gonna have we'll talk about what happened when we are uh, going back to the hotel then oh yeah if you'd like ah, doesn't matter um, there are these two drunk chicks at least one of them was drunk the other one was here to talk so she probably wasn't she probably just taking care of the other one and like she bumped into me and she's like Woo, Palooza! And she asked me how I had how like how much fun I had and I was like yeah I had, that's you know that's pretty good and she, I asked her how hers was. She was like, I'm drunk, so obviously it was awesome. And then she started giving us all high fives about it. And then sometime during that, she dropped her ring, I guess. And she's like, oh, where's my ring? So I bent down and I picked it up and I gave it to her. And she said, thank you. And then she exclaimed her love for me. <laughs> and said, thank you. Yeah, she kissed me as a thank you. On the lips. Yes, on the lips. <laughs> And then ran off and cried, I mean... Probably kissed a few other people. Yeah, I <laughs> the guy, so... <laughs>
It was an interesting walk home. Absolutely. Yeah. It was a good end of the night for Will, at least. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so then we, I mean, there's tons and tons of people trying to get out of all that. So we uh, managed to get through that. Uh, and Will and I ran back up the flights, of, ten flights of stairs, mm -hmm. as we did all three nights to get to our room. Evan, I guess, took the elevator. I don't know. I did, and I yeah. made it yeah. Yeah, the same time you did. From him, we didn't know where he was, but when we got up to the tenth floor, we magically just kind of. Got there at the same time. It was pretty cool. Because every night, the reason we climbed up the stairs was because uh, there was a long line. There's a ten, ten person limit, and there's there were only two elevators, and so a cop had to stand at the elevator and and count the people as they went in. And there was a long line because it's a big hotel, and everyone wanted to get back to their room. So. <clears throat> um, the first night we all took the stairs. Second night we got separated. I was listening to a guy talk about Jesus on the corner of the street, um, and they they went back to the room. So I took the elevator that night and the second night as well. So yeah, so we got back to the room. Uh, all our clothes were muddy, so we couldn't sit down. Uh, Evan took a shower, and then Will took a shower. Mm -hmm. And then I took a shower, but <laughs> my shower was later, so I stood for probably another 45 minutes or so because all my clothes were muddy and I couldn't sit down and do anything. And my my shoes were crazy. I had to take those off, and mud was just flying like all over the room, so I had to pick that up a little bit. Um, Once again, here are the shoes. <laughs> For reference, mm -hmm. can't really tell that much from the camera, but they were quite muddy. Um, yeah, they were. I'm sure the hotel people weren't really happy when 150, however many people are staying here from Lala, came trawling in. I don't know if that's a word. Trawling? Yeah, I don't know. Sure. Sounds good. Came coming in with uh, mud all over their shoes. But so anyway, then we we all took showers. Uh, we were kind of hungry, but we were absolutely dead from Cage the Elephant and Dead Mouse and just jumping the whole time in mud. So we decided to order pizza from Pizzeria Aura again, which is pretty good pizza. It's no Giordano's, but it was good. And uh, so this time we just got pepperoni. Last time we got pepperoni, green pepper and onion, which was good too. Mm. But. So this was good pizza. It was cheaper because we only had one topping. Uh, we ate that. Well, I think we were watching like classic boxing or something. But we were pretty tired, so we don't really we weren't really watching it. We were kind of sitting in silence, mm -hmm. reflecting on the day, I think, and eating pizza. Um, and then probably two o'clock or so, we went to bed. Yeah. And in the in the night, Evan decided to try to take over the entire bed from me. On accident. On accident. He was here, here's our bed. Uh, Evan was laying with his head down here, <laughs> his feet all the way over here. <laughs> so I had about this much bed, but I kicked him a lot, and he came back over to his side and then it was all right he tried to take the sheets from me like 10 times too like he literally just ripped them and <laughs> so i grabbed them back what happens is i roll over and clasp the sheets with yeah. my hand and it just pulls it off um, none of that was on purpose you know but it's a good time good memories yes. um so now we have to check out of the hotel in less than half an hour well yeah actually because that so, goes slow yeah so we're gonna have to get going uh we're gonna our, our bus doesn't leave till like 4.15, you know, yeah. we're checking out at 12, so we're going to head over to uh, buy some, try to get some tea for Austin's mom, and then we're going to, Austin says he loves you. Yes, I love you, Mom. Mother Teresa. Um, and then we're going to walk back and hit a restaurant on the way back, get some food. Um, we're, we hope that the hotel will let us keep our bags somewhere here. So we don't have to go all over Chicago with our bags. Right. Um, and then we're gonna head 
head to the bus station and just wait for the bus. So, uh, thank you so much for watching our videos or video or whatever you watch. Thank you. We don't know how many people will watch. Probably, probably just us. Probably just us. Mm -hmm. Maybe one or two others. Uh, Heather maybe might watch some. Uh, Hi, Heather. Hello, Heather. I love you. <laughs> nice, nice to talk to you. Uh, my phone is water damaged, so I can't really text very well. But uh, a lot of stuff is wet. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Not sure what that was. Um, there will probably be no more video to come unless we get more of the stations. Which so we might do, but... It's possible. But uh, that might be just extra coverage. Yes, yeah, well, not so, really coverage of Lala. So this will conclude our Lala video documentary. Lala of Lapalooza 2011. Show me uh, it's see a, it there. Yes, there you yeah. go. Yep. Will, do you have anything, any final comments to say? Um, it was a fantastic weekend. It just... Definitely money's worth, and I would love to do it again. I could do it every year for the rest of my life, and I'd be happy. How about you, Evan? I agree. Um, I got I got really, I just didn't really feel well the, the last day, but uh, Cage the Elephant rolled around. It was nice, and then uh, Muse, or not Muse, but Dead Mouse. They were, for me, it was just kind of whatever. Um, I mean, those guys really enjoyed it. I just, I mean, I, I had a good time, but... It was kind of an hour and a half of the same thing for me. So, uh, but otherwise, it was a great weekend. Like, well, I'd love to come back every year. I mean, we learn about so many new bands. Like, I didn't know about Foster the People, and now they're one of my favorites. So, how about you, Austin? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and say also that I would love to come back. It was a great time. Um, I'm really glad I came finally. It was a lot of money. But sure was. I'm glad to do it again. Um, who knows who will be here next year? But you know, I'm sure we'll find some other bands that we like a lot. I heard the I heard the Friendship Gang might play. Actually, Friendship Gang is uh, possibly going to make a surprise appearance at Lala next year. Mm -hmm. uh, and perhaps our friends Victorian Hills, <laughs> Victorian Halls, Hills. Victorian Halls. Halls. Uh, Perry Farrell said they had the sound of Saturday night, and Perry Farrell is the guy who founded Lollapalooza. So those guys were just they, handing out free CDs on the street. I guess they asked if they could play Saturday night since they're the sound of Saturday night, and Perry said no. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I guess that's uh, pretty much all we have. Unless anyone has anything else to say. I do. Uh, Evan has a lot to say. I always have stuff to say, but this wow. time... Wow, camera's on night vision right now. <laughs> this time I just want to say thank you. Um, love you, Mom, Dad, and no more video to come, but thanks for watching.